take a look. This brown cloud in Lake Michigan near Portage, Indiana, closed down all the beaches at the Indiana Dunes National Park. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live from nearby U.S. Steel. And Megan, the discolored water has seen was seen coming from their plant. Right, Brad and Erica, sometime yesterday evening, that color ended up in the water, and we're still waiting test results to find out exactly what it is, but this is not the first time. U.S. Steel and other nearby plants have found themselves in hot water over these kinds of spills. This is what we're talking about. Indiana Dunes National Park Superintendent Paul Labovitz tells me there's always a little bit of dark discoloration here near the Burns Ditch. Any time of the year, there are sediments and nutrients running out of this into the Lake of Michigan. It's a darker color than the lake water. So to see a dark plume is not unusual, but to see that bright orange red is what triggered the reaction. The discharge from the U.S. Steel plant in Portage, Indiana, was reported around 6.30 on Sunday, and all of the nearby Indiana Dunes National Park beaches were closed Monday as a result. Some of it has been found to be harmless, and some of it has been found to be very dangerous. And so that's why we're being cautious. Indiana American Water had to shut down its Ogden Dunes treatment plant, which is close to the plume. So when we hear that a company like U.S. Steel, which has had pollution problems in the past, has another pollution problem again today, I mean, that's just a red flag. Howard Lerner with the Environmental Law and Policy Center is well versed in U.S. Steel's history of recent spills, which included a pipe failure in 2017 that caused the plant to dump 300 pounds of a known carcinogen called hexavalent chromium into Lake Michigan that led to a federal lawsuit. The CBS2 investigators have been looking into these types of spills for years. In August 2019, nearby Arcelor Middle, now known as Cleveland Cliffs, had a spill that killed 3,000 fish in the Little Calumet River. It also closed beaches and a nearby drinking water intake facility. If you're operating along the shores of Lake Michigan and the Great Lakes, you need to clean up your act and do it better. The Indiana Department of Environmental Management tells me they continue to investigate this tonight and that staff on site have not witnessed any dead fish or other wildlife that we have seen in previous spills. Again, they're still waiting on the test results from those water samples. Live in Portage, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.